That's disgusting. <laughs> we are rocking current. First thing we're gonna do is gonna go to oscillator A. Then we're gonna go down to the fracture section. We're gonna go ahead and select obliterate. Go ahead and stick your wavetail position to 32%. Turn on oscillator B. Go to the spectra section and we're gonna go ahead and select spectralina, all right? Now, we're gonna go ahead and stick that wavetail position to 46%. The next thing that we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to curve six here. We're gonna click on curve six and we're gonna go ahead and create a basic sustain ramp like so. Boom. We're gonna keep our rate at one bar for now. We're gonna go ahead and throw curve six onto the wavetail position of oscillator A. We're gonna stick that outer dial to 77%. Next thing we're gonna do is gonna throw curve six onto the wavetail position of oscillator B. Oh, that's hard. Go ahead and stick that outer dial to 50%. Now we're gonna go ahead and turn the phase and random on both oscillators here to zero. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna beef this sound up, all right? We're gonna go to our effects section. We're gonna go ahead and select um, fuse compressor for our first effect here. Go ahead and move your, move your high band up to about 10.7 dB, move your low band up. Oh yeah, that's that sounds great to 11.1 dB. Turn your makeup gain up. Turn your makeup gain up to 5.5 dB. And then give yourself some upward compression here of 64%. We're gonna go to our second effect slot here. We're gonna go ahead and select polar distortion. Put the distortion above the compressor and move the drive to 7 dB. Then go ahead and move the squash to 30%. Uh, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go to our third effect slot. And we're gonna go ahead and grab the Morphe Q middle. Just give yourself a nice little mid-range duck at 500 hertz like this to get, keep that mid-range in control. Then make a high band. Give yourself a nice high shelf. Just very slight, okay? Uh, the next thing that we're gonna do here, we're gonna grab the Swarm Reverb, okay? That's disgusting, oh my gosh. Turn the dry wet to 5%. Turn your high pass 812 hertz. Throw your low pass to 7.28 kilohertz. Throw your decay to 77%. Throw your attack to 68%. Throw your size to 28%. So you're damping to 75%. All right, now go back to your engine here. Throw the voices of oscillator B from one voice to two voice and throw the detune down to 2%. That's hard. I like that. I like that. That's disgusting. Now what we're going to do is this. Now check this out. This is going to be crazy, all right? Now go to the spectral section of oscillator A. Click it, select spectral again, and select ripple, all right? Now go ahead and stick that ripple to 1%. We're going to go to curve 7. Go to curve 7 and then turn your rate to 1 over 4. Make it a little bit skinnier on this side. And then throw that curve 7 onto the warp, the spectral warping of oscillator A, which is right here. Now check this out. So now I went ahead and make the curve sort of like this. Move the spectral morphing dial to 43% and then move that modulator for curve 7 to 85%. Now we have this. And then on go back to curve seven and turn the rate to one over eight. All right. Now go to I, I don't know what to call these. Somebody tell me what to call these. It says pitch filter, spectral pitch. It looks like it changes whatever you whatever you choose. Okay, wave and warp. Okay. We're gonna go to the warping section of oscillator B. We're gonna select vowel. We're gonna go to the filter section, select vowel. All right. Go ahead and throw that warp to 92%. Throw curve six onto the warping section here and put that dial, that outer dial to 42%. All right, now we're gonna go to our sub sampler section, turn on our sub, throw the phase to zero, throw the partials to one, throw your level down to minus 15.3. And this last part is gonna be up to your own taste, okay? We're gonna go to the wave section of oscillator B now, keep it on scan in the pitch section, select scan, okay? Go ahead and throw that wave to 16%. Go ahead and throw curve seven onto the wave here and you can change it to what you want, but check this out. <laughs> Changing it, you can get some crazy things, and we can probably just throw a macro for that, right? For the last bit of this, we're going to go to the FM AM section, go to oscillator A, select the source as oscillator B, and then keep it on FM, and then move this up to 22%. Now we got this. That's disgusting. Go back to curve 7 and just change the rate to 1 over 8 triplets. That should look like 1 over 8 with a D. Oh my god! That's disgusting. <laughs> I like that. And that's the sound, baby. Current going crazy. That's disgusting. Enjoy. Boom.